also get your Bull Ross back at that game with another video. So when you check out 10 greatest special guest referees performances of all time, man, this should be a good one. Um, from time to time, referees or special guest referees are included into a feud to, I guess, enhance the feud, make things a little bit more unpredictable than the regular referees that they may uh, have for certain matches. So we're going to check this out. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have been showing on the channel. Let's get right into this one. one two, is this on? The special referee is something we see a lot in wrestling. A guest ref might be needed in certain circumstances mm -hmm. where the wrestlers in the ring require extra control. The stipulation can also be used to put one wrestler at a disadvantage. Yep. Since this stipulation shines a spotlight on the ref, it's common for the guest referee to be a highlight of the match. So in this video, we'll look at some matches where this happened as we list 10 memorable special referee appearances. Mm -hmm. Number one, Chris Jericho. First, we'll look at a match where the special referee completely stole the show. This occurred <laughs> when Roman Reigns wrestled Rusev on Raw in January 2016. Jericho had made himself the ref in an attempt to prevent the League of Nations from interfering. And even though it didn't take long for the faction to get involved, Y2J knew exactly how to deal with them. <laughs> Jericho proceeded to eject it. each member from ringside in a comical fashion. <laughs> See with each ejection being funnier than the last. <laughs> Not the spin. Ow. <laughs> Chris was so entertaining the fans nearly forgot there was a match still going on. It would great, end after bro. Roman Reigns delivered a spear to Rusev <laughs> to get the win. Number two, Shawn Michaels. The Heartbreak Kid has been guest referee for so many matches mm -hmm. there's even been action figures made of him in ref attire. Mm -hmm. Perhaps the funniest appearance as a referee came when he officiated Kane versus Rob Conway on the May 1st, 2006 episode of Raw. The Spirit Squad were the acting general managers for the night and since Shawn was one of their rivals at the time, they made him referee wearing a May 19th shirt. This was going to be tough for HPK given Kane's hatred of this specific date. May 19th. <laughs> but Michaels had a clever plan. Sean went to check Rob Conway before the big red machine made his entrance. However, Michaels ended up dishing out a low blow to Conway before putting the May 19th <laughs> shirt on him. <laughs> and then throwing Rob out of the ring right when Kane approached. <laughs> the mere sight of the day infuriated Kane and he got this to work attacking real Conway. Thing. Michaels watched on while sitting on the top rope. Conway then tried to escape, but Sean made sure to throw him right back in the ring. Michaels then grabbed the trash can for Kane to use. The big red monster smashed the bin off Conway's skull and hit a choke slam. Kane didn't attempt to cover though and got ready to leave until he was summoned back by that all too familiar date. A two-song pile driver later, and Kane was finally declared. That's fucking stupid, bro. May 19th. Oh, I gotta kill him now. <laughs> the winner. Number three, Jesse oh my Ventura. God, the main man. selling point of SummerSlam 1999's main event was the appearance of Jesse the Body Ventura as a special ref. Ventura was the governor of Minnesota at the time, and given that the state was playing host to SummerSlam, having Jesse as the referee made perfect sense, hmm. especially given the story being told in the build-up where it was made clear the body rules. Ventura cut an impassioned promo before the bell. I'm proud I was a wrestler, and I'm proud to be here tonight! Stone Cold Steve Austin would be defending his WWF Championship against Mankind and Triple H. Stone Cold and Mankind worked together initially, but this alliance ended after Mankind tried to hug Austin. <laughs> China's interference would prove costly for Triple H, as Ventura took it upon himself to eject the ninth wonder of the world from ringside. And the body is ejecting China! <laughs> Mankind took a hard bump to the floor oh and would be covered God. by Austin, only for the game to break up the count with a steel chair. <laughs> Hunter then used the chair on Mankind, much to Ventura's frustration. As he and Triple H argued, Shane McMahon ran in to help the game. Shane ended up receiving a stunner for his troubles. McMahon was then thrown out of the ring by the body to a huge pop. <laughs> <laughs> what was happening though? Stone Cold. That was the old man, you little bastard. I love it. <laughs> got himself caught up in between the ropes, but Triple H was able to set him free. And I go upside down and I'm hanging <laughs> in the ropes. Like, oh, upside down, yeah. I can't get up. There's no reason logically for Triple H to save me. Austin mm -hmm. would then receive a pedigree. Mankind then came back to attack the game and hit a double arm DDT onto Stone Cold. And it was that that got the three count, making Mankind a three time WWF champion. <laughs> <laughs> Once he and Ventura had left the ring, Triple H began to unleash a vicious assault on Austin with a steel chair to end the show. Number four, The Rock. A month uh, following SummerSlam, Triple H... The Rock as a special guest. 
always hilarious. <laughs> now at the WWF Championship. I forgot his- what it was, bro. He was supposed to count the three or something like that. One, two. It doesn't matter if I count the three. <laughs> Position. A title he defended against the British Bulldog on SmackDown, with The Rock being the special. I think this is it. Rock had been feuding with both competitors, so it was I going to be interesting to see how he officiated the match. The Great One didn't disappoint. First, he attacked the Bulldog, then Rock entertained on commentary, and when he was called great. upon to count a pin, Rock gave Triple H an applause <laughs> instead of counting the fall. This resulted in the two brawling with each other, ending with a rock bottom. Bulldog then made the cover as The Rock was on hand to deliver one of his most iconic lines. Three. <laughs> Bulldog attempted to use the WWF title as a weapon, but it backfired as Rock took both Bulldog and the game out with the belt. The Brubber Bull then hit one of the best ever mm-hmm. people's elbows. It's yeah, it's the slide. It's the slide in the dress shoes. One of the best ever people out. Uh, the Rock elbow. posed with the WWF Championship as the match ended in a no contest. That was Number great. five, Shane McMahon. The Rock and Triple H would get their big pay per view singles match for the WWF Championship at Backlash 2000. The game defended the title with Vince and Stephanie McMahon in his corner while Shane acted as a special referee. The Rock was at a heavy disadvantage, of being course. attacked by Vince numerous times while Shane turned a blind eye. The People's Champion stayed alive though and responded with a DDT, although Shane refused to count the subsequent pinfall this is so good this earned McMahon a signature right hand from the great one followed up by a double yep. rock bottom to the last table Vince's shock reaction said it all the numbers game once again caught up to the this is so fun bro the rock with a low blow from behind following a pedigree this is with so Shane blow. still being down on the outside Vince signaled for the Stooges Patterson and Briscoe to come out however help was on the way in the form of a returning Stone Cold mm-hmm, Steve Austin pop. Austin dished out some of the best chair shots ever seen in WWF as the crowd went completely insane. Back in the ring, the rock hit people's so elbow before lit. going for the cover. And just like that, oh, the rock my. was the I, new WWF. Bro, I got goosebumps. Just I've seen that clip so many times, I still get goosebumps. Take me back. Build a time machine so I can go back and watch that live. Oh. He celebrated with Austin to end one of the Attitude Era's most classic main events. Number six, Stone Cold of Steve course. Austin. Austin was on hand to referee a match himself at WrestleMania 23 in the mm-hmm. Battle of the Billionaires, where the losing billionaire would be forced to have their head shaved bald. Vince McMahon, who is re- you know what's crazy, he's the only president ever, former president ever, to get Stone Cold stunned. <laughs> There's never been a president in in the history. Of the United States that's ever been stone cold stunned, bro. Can't make it up. Represented by Umaga, faced Donald Trump, who is being represented has to be in the by history Bobby Lashley. Books. Stone Cold established his authority early by pulling Lashley off Umaga. Austin later got heavy handed <clears throat> when pulling Umaga out of the corner. This infuriated Umaga enough to hit the rattlesnake with a Samoan spike. From there, Shane McMahon interfered, hitting Lashley with a coast to coast. That coast to coast was cold. Shane then revealed he was wearing a referee shirt and began to count. However, Stone Cold pulled Shane out of the ring and threw him into the steps. <laughs> Austin was struck down again by Umaga once he got back in the ring. Meanwhile, on the outside, Donald Trump proceeded to beat the hell out of Vince. Austin finally managed to dodge Umaga and hit him with a stunner. Lashley then delivered a spear to the Samoan bulldozer as Austin counted the fall. In the post-match, Shane would also resist the stunner. Vince used this as an opportunity to escape. However, Lashley quickly caught him. McMahon then got a taste of things to come as he felt the bald head of Stone Cold. And once Vince turned around, he too would eat a stunner. It was then time for Vince to get strapped in as the billionaire's haircut got underway. Vince's facials and moans whilst in the chair were absolutely- I want to say this is right before he turned into do-rag Vince because he had his hair shaved. I want to say this is right before he turned into do-rag Vince and it just, oh no, it was, oh man. Gold. No! The parting shot of McMahon as he walked back up the ramp helped sum up what was an all-time WrestleMania moment. Mm-hmm. Austin still had one more center to give out, though, with <laughs> I Donald told Trump you. being on the receiving end. Trump took the move so badly that the camera angle had to be altered to try and yeah. hide the botch on the DVD and network versions yeah. of the show. Hey! Oh, Austin! Austin, yeah, stop the Donald! And it looked like sh- And he took it like sh- Yeah. It still wasn't the worst stunner in Yeah, it wasn't the worst. This man trying to get away. Number seven, Mick Foley. Foley put in perhaps the most physical special referee performance of all time at mm-hmm. Bad Blood 2003, where Kevin Ash battled Triple H for the World Heavyweight. Can we just uh, acknowledge the fact that Mick Foley's referee shirt 
was so bad, it made sense. It's just like a regular shirt with a black collar and then some like little like spray painted uh stripes on it, bro. That I always appreciated his special guest referee shirts because they were just it didn't it wasn't no official shirt. It was just some 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 shit you could just make at the crib. Let me spray paint this with stripes on it. <laughs> Loved it, championship bro. inside Hell in a Cell. Foley was made the ref <sighs> after numerous senior referees refused to officiate the match yeah. due to fears <laughs> of the Triple H, his use of the Triple sledgehammer, H. and the dangers of the cell itself. So given the wars Mick went through inside the structure, there was no mm -hmm. better man to ref such a match than the hardcore legend himself. Foley laid down the law by stopping Triple H from using a hammer, resulting in a shoving match between the two. Mick did, however, allow Nash to use a barbed wire 2x4. Mick then stopped Triple H from using the sledgehammer, but this resulted in Foley getting taken out by the game. Game. The cerebral assassin then grabbed a steel chair and hit both Nash and Foley across the head with it. At this point, all three men had been busted open. Mm -hmm. Nash was now back up wielding the steel steps he successfully used on Triple H, with Foley also getting caught in the crossfire. Nash then inadvertently crashed into Mick, who was on the apron mm. as the hardcore legend took a nasty <clears throat> back bump into the cell wall. Nash used the barbed wire 2x4 to his advantage once more before hitting a jackknife powerbomb. Foley raced back in the ring to count the fall, even though he was meant to stay down. This meant Triple H had to kick out which resulted in an awkward finish to the match where Nash essentially waited for the game to strike him with the sledgehammer. <laughs> Oh, I never knew that. And Triple H retained his world heavyweight title. Foley took I'm... so much punishment as the referee that this was essentially a triple threat match. Number <laughs> eight, cool. William Regal. Next, we have an example of a special referee being drafted in to try and ensure the wrestlers in the ring destroyed each other. This was Commissioner Regal's plan when he made himself the ref for Chris Jericho and Chris Benoit's match on the April 9th edition of Raw from 2001. Regal put on a very entertaining display here, from the way he rang the bell to the way he demanded Jericho and Benoit punch and kick each other instead of. <laughs> Jericho hit a double underhook backbreaker and then hooked the leg of Benoit. Regal, however, awkwardly counted the fall since he wanted the match to continue. Come on! What the hell is Regal doing? Regal didn't care about a winner as he waved to the crowd instead of counting Benoit's pin attempt <laughs> of a German suplex. This made Benoit push Regal into an incoming missile dropkick. The commissioner then lost his temper by punching out both Y2J and the Crippler. But this proved to be a big mistake as the two Chrises proceeded to punish Regal with a backdrop, blind salt, and diving headbutt finished off with a Walter of Jericho cross-face submission combination. It was fun to watch Regal's entire plan. No, he's just in the middle getting torn to shreds. <laughs> Oh uh, my god. Nine, Sammy Zayn. Next we go to Raw in the summer of 2019. <sighs> the match in question is unique in that it featured two referees, with veteran official John Cohn working in the ring and Sammy Zayn acting as a special referee on the outside. Zayn's good I'm friend Kevin you. Owens oh, took on the Universal okay. Champion <laughs> Seth Rollins in a non-title match. Zayn made his presence felt immediately, first by patting down Rollins before the match and then stopping Seth from striking Owens once the bout got underway. Sammy then distracted John Cohn just as Rollins made a pin attempt. After this, Zayn even entered the ring to check on Kevin, but in doing so, prevented Seth from hitting a move off the top rope. Sammy would finally get caught up in the physicality when Rollins hit a suicide dive onto Owens. Once Owens was back in the ring, Rollins delivered a curb stomp and went for the pin. Zayn got involved again though by this time pulling the inside referee Cone out of the ring before he could count to three. This angered Rollins who ended up putting his hands on Sammy which led to Zayn calling for the bell. Owens celebrated the disqualification win but his friend Sammy wouldn't get off so lightly as Rollins beat down <laughs> Zayn with the help of a steel chair. Zayn was undoubtedly the star of the show here. Sammy later spoke about his performance led to higher up seeing him in a different light. And for some reason Gorilla was very tickled by my antics. So something in that moment, they're like, you're just so entertaining, you could do anything. Number 10, Dean Ambrose. He is entertaining. Dude is, he is hilarious, bro. He, you give him what, you give him something and he'll make it better than you expected it to. And dude is fantastic in the ring. Fantastic in the ring, man. Looking forward to seeing how things play out with the bloodline in him during this WrestleMania season. We'll close things out with an example of a babyface special referee looking to screw over the heel. This happened when Dean Ambrose was made the guest ref for AJ Styles' match against James Ellsworth on SmackDown in October 2016. Before the this. match could begin, Ambrose comically emptied his pockets by handing over each item to AJ in the ring. Once things got underway, Ambrose would have some fun by distracting AJ to allow Ellsworth to get a shot in on him. No, 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 no. 
See, that was a close fist. And there's a right hand. Dean then tripped up Styles and ignored Ellsworth <laughs> tapping out of the calf crusher to take a phone call. Styles was none too pleased with this, but it only got worse as Ambrose fast counted AJ while he was on the outside. Dean then prevented Styles from winning by count out by throwing Ellsworth back in the ring. Ambrose also took the time to sign autographs, which enraged <laughs> the phenomenal one even more. AJ has to be commended though for how he saved Ellsworth from injury when yeah. executing the Styles clash. Ellsworth was headed for certain mm -hmm. injury had AJ not changed his body position at the last oh second. My Following God, this, Styles bro. went for a yeah, that, yeah, yeah, <laughs> that could have ended catastrophically for him, bro. Cover, but Ambrose stopped his count at two. He then gave AJ the dirty deeds and pulled Ellsworth on top of Styles for the pin. Mm -hmm. AJ managed to kick out at two and a half. This made Ambrose leave the ring again to stop for a drink before coming back in the ring and hitting another dirty deeds to AJ, which this time gave Ellsworth the victory. Ambrose, another dirty deeds! As always, bro. if you enjoyed the video, hey man, this was a good one. This was a good one. It it is something about the special guest referees. You know, it just especially depending on the uh, the feud and the situation, it can definitely enhance the match and, and make it that more entertaining and quite unpredictable. Or if you're going into situation to put pretty much stack the deck against the baby face, it does help in creating that um that underdog story. So comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite special guest referee moment of all time. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still your undisputed YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.